Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be um, doing a simple look. I have a few products that I purchased a couple weeks ago um, that I want to play with and stuff like that. And as you can tell, the background is different. I'm officially moved into my house. Um, so I just, this isn't how I think I want the background to be. Right now I'm testing out my lights and um, the background that I was thinking about doing, I don't have the supplies yet, so in order to film videos I didn't want to have just a simple white wall like I did before. So I did a, a little, as you can see, lights and things like that for right now. I already washed and um, moisturized my face. I'm going to go in with a primer. I'm using my Wet n Wild primer that I use all the time. And don't mind this mark here. I got bit by, I think it was a mosquito. I'm not 100% sure, but some kind of creature bit me. And uh, yeah, so that's the result. It looks terrible. It looks like a huge pimple. I already dampened my beauty sponge and we're using the Morphe one. And I'm going to go in with my Maybelline make, um, foundation in Classic Ivory, which is 120. I think the lighting in this room and how I have it set up is a lot better than how I had it before in that little closet. I mean, I haven't watched the, f the video yet, but just checking out the lighting for doing my makeup in this little mirror, it really seems to be doing good. So it's Friday, and on Tuesday, I am going to Ireland and I'm super excited and I already mentioned to you guys in the previous video about all of that but yeah I don't think I'll have this video up before I leave I might it all depends on how this weekend goes we're still unpacking all these boxes and everything I thought packing was bad, but I honestly think that unpacking is worse, especially like a place that you don't know where things go because, you know, the last place that you lived, you had a certain spot for everything and then now you have to find a certain spot for all that stuff all over again. And when you're not used to having so much storage, like this place, you get a little overwhelmed because I'm so used to cramming everything in like such a small area and like my kitchen isn't as, it's about the same size as the last place I lived, but um, there's a lot more shelving, but not a whole lot. But I also have a whole basement. Um, the one side is finished and the other side isn't finished. So the unfinished side I have like shelving that I can put like my crock pot and other kitchen appliances that I'm not using. I can put all down here and um, not have to take up so much room in my kitchen. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so now that we have a, a nice base of a foundation, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm in the color light. And so I just got done working a 16 hour shift and got a little bit of bags and some dark circles under these eyes. So we're gonna clean that up a little. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I worked um, second shift into night shift and I haven't gone to sleep yet. So 
I don't really like to go to sleep, um, especially on Fridays, because it's starting my weekend and I'm just, I don't want to go to bed. I mean, nobody's home, my husband's working, but it's Friday and I don't want to, I don't want to go in bed, so I'll sleep tonight. I haven't used Tarte Shape Tape in a long time and I really miss it. I think the last one I had, the shade was way too light and I didn't really wear it very often because I didn't like how much lighter it was compared to my natural color. I mean this is pretty light too but that one was even lighter. You guys like my uh, mirror? <laughs> Still the same mirror that I used before in my other videos but I was so tired of every time I would lift it up it would show my lights so I was like well I don't really want to buy another mirror because I really like this one. so. I got some wrapping paper, like Christmas wrapping paper, and uh, I didn't want really Christmas themed. I, I don't even know if it really, yeah, it's Christmas because there's trees on it. Um, so I got Christmas wrapping paper, and um, I didn't want it to be like real Christmassy. So out of all of them, I found these little dinosaurs, <laughs> and that's what I'm using. It works. And then I just glued it to the back where the mirror is because it's like the magnifying um, mirror on the other side and I don't ever really use that. I have another mirror in my bathroom if I want to do that for like my eyebrows and stuff. Okay. So does anybody else suffer with terrible smile lines? Like I have tried so many different primers, uh, pore filling, um, so many different primers and other products and doing my foundation really light around there and then also really getting it in the crease and then I've tried setting it with the powder and when you like pat it on like that when you blow your cheeks out like a, um, like a blowfish and nothing seems to, to work so I'm just kind of accepting the fact that I got smile lines and I'm just going to have to deal with it. So anywho, um, we're going to set our face and I forgot the powder so I'll be right back. I haven't used this powder in a very long time. Last time I wore it, I absolutely hated it, um, but I used it with a different foundation. Now I use my typical foundation that I really like. Um, so I know how it works. So I'm going to try this powder. It's the Cover FX powder again. It's in translucent light. So I'm going to give it another try because it's a really expensive powder. I see a lot of people use it. So it might have just been the foundation that was making my under eyes really, really dry, cakey, and um, all that good stuff. So we're just going to pat out our creases before we set because we don't want to set the creases and then go in with your powder same thing with the other eye That was the technique I was talking about earlier. I'm too broke for Botox, so <laughs> that's out of the question. I guess I just smile way too much. I'm just gonna take a little bit of product, like there's barely anything on there, and just pat it on my face before I put on my powder, bronzer, 
to contour my face and all that stuff. Same thing for the other side of my face, just a little bit of product. So we're just going to dust away. I'm not really baking under my eyes. I just wanted to set it. I'm going in with my Hula Bronzer because my, um, what the heck is it called? Butter Bronzer from, um, Phys Physician's Formula. I packed that because taking that to Ireland. So we're going to just do Hula today. And through the move, I lost my little cat ears, so yeah gonna have to just fight with my hair for the day. Oh, I love this stuff. And I think I need a new one. I hit pan pretty good. This is my second cup of coffee. It's the thing that's keeping me awake on this Friday. Okay, so I think I forgot my blush too. All right, well, we're gonna do the highlighter first because I kind of like how it blends together after that. So if I can find my highlighter brush, found it. We're gonna go in, ow, I just squished my finger. Okay, we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. All right, so I'm going in with my Amrezy highlighting powder. Highlighter, Hi yeah. Why did I say highlighter powder? You can tell I haven't done this in about a week or two. Just do that. Take it into our eyebrow a little bit. And I need to pluck these eyebrows before I leave. And then we're gonna do just like hair on my face keeps tickling me. We're gonna do the bridge of our nose. And then I like to use my finger for the tip of your nose. So today I'm gonna go in with the Ulta brand um, blush. It's in Tulip. Tulip. It's a nice summery um, blush. Apples of our cheeks and bring it back. Okay, so I want to show you guys what I want to play with here. I got these four pigments. I don't know if you can see them. And um, I want to play around with them. I haven't even opened them to see what all they do. This is kind of like a, a rose gold type color. So I think I'm going to play with that one. So we're going to open it up, see what it looks like. And then that will determine on, I think, which eyeshadow palette that I use. So I'm just going to tap a little bit here into the cap. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with the Soft Glam Palette from ABH. And I'm going to do a simple um, base of eyeshadow on our eye eyelids and then we're gonna play with this pigment it's super pretty um I already put my glitter glue on my lid and before that dries we're gonna go in with this shadow and I'm just getting a little bit that's on in the cap and we're gonna tap that where I put the glitter glue
stuff is so pretty. I've never used this stuff before. I mean, I've always seen it and saw people use it for especially like prom makeup. That's so pretty. All right, so we're gonna grab our glitter glue and do the same thing for this eye. Just pat it in all over the lid. Don't forget the inside inner corner area. The pigment that I'm using, it kind of looks rose gold and it's just on the bottom, it says pig for pigment 20. So yeah, and it's the NYX Professional Makeup Pigment. It's all it is and I forget how much I paid for it. I think they were like $6. They might not even, yeah, I think they were like $6.99. Now, I really thought that this would be a mess because it's pigment. But to be honest, there's really not a whole lot. And I think with this big fluffy brush, we can just buff it off the skin. Yeah. I was gonna do liner and falsies, but I feel like this video is long enough. So we're just gonna go in with some mascara. Oh my, I forgot to do my eyebrows. How do I forget that? I usually... My favorite combo for mascara is this Lash Princess from Essence and um, the Thrive Cosmetics mascara. Them two together literally looks like I have fake lashes. Beautiful. My Thrive Cosmetics mascara is upstairs in my bathroom. Because I use that kind of an everyday makeup before work. I put that on. Because it's so easy to take off at the end of the day whenever I come home from work. I don't want to have to really scrub my eyes. So, I wear that a lot to work. Okay, so off camera I went ahead and did my eyebrows um, and I also did my lower lashes. Um, so now we're going to go in with uh, my lip color. So I decided to do this cute pink um, lip plumping gloss. It is in the shade Sparkling Rose. And it's from e.l.f. Since we did such a dramatic eye, I'm just going to do a nice, subtle lip. I'm setting my face with the Morphe Setting Mist. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I want to zoom up and show you guys what the final eye looks like. It's a perfect prom. Um, wedding, any kind of fancy dinner. I hope you guys liked this video. It was a little get ready with me and I also wanted to try out these pigments. Um, we used the rose gold looking one today and I also have like this greenish looking one, <sighs> silver looking one, and then there's like a bronze looking one that I have. So I have more pigments to play with, so I'm sure you'll see them in other videos to come.
I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that post notification bell. It'll remind you every time that I upload a video. And as always, stay pretty, Sam fam.